Hey y'all, it's Danielle. I'm back with another uh, cold review for y'all. Uh, obviously, this one is from, as you can see, Glitterati! Yes, finally my Glitterati has come. And oh my goodness, you all, I felt like a kid on Christmas, seriously, when I seen this on my front porch. Um, I wasn't, I, I was expecting it. Janine had messaged me telling me that she would be shipping soon, but... I met, I guess I had overlooked the click and ship because um, I didn't know that it was on its way here. So when I seen it, I was so excited and oh my goodness, so nervous because it was so warm today and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my goodness, it's, it's sat in the sun, but it didn't. Um, I looked at the time and realized that my mailman, it only had probably been out there maybe a half an hour, if that, probably less than that. So, um, but anyway, um, I'm just going to dive right in y'all. I mean, I hope you're okay with that. Uh, quick, quickly for those who have never had Glitterati, have never, um, are not familiar with Glitterati. I, there's two ways to get it. Um, three ways technically. The first is mystery box. Second is custom list. And third is flash sales. Um, it is kind of one of those harder, um, type of vendors to get probably one of the most hardest in my opinion um yeah it's a bummer but the wax is awesome uh janine is awesome but um the mystery box and custom lists are both the same you have to uh put your name on both and within whatever amount of time your name will be called and then you get the mystery box or you get your custom list um, order, you get to put your order in, uh, miss, uh, excuse me, the flash sales, uh, she does mostly, uh, the random generator. So she'll put up a couple flash sales. You put a me on it saying that you would like that lot and she does it randomly. So I do like that she does that. So I was kind of a little unprepared for this too, to be completely honest. Um, I have put in not spending a whole lot just because I haven't had it uh, money-wise. And so uh, if I knew this was coming up sooner than what it did, I would have held back a lot more funds for it. But um, I, as I was sitting down writing my blends and everything I wanted, I, you know, I realized something. You know, I, I, I realized I need to be realistic. I mean, yeah, I could order two, three hundred dollars worth, but it's really not realistic. I would never melt through that much. I mean, that would take me so long. If I exclusively melted Glitterati, that would be awesome. And I would go that route, but I don't. So um, I try to taper it in a little bit, uh, you know, just to, to, to be more in my parameters of I know what I melt every day. And to order more than what I have right here probably would have been a little foolish. Uh, I do wish there was a couple things I grabbed extras of or quanti bigger quantities of. But uh, my biggest concern was with getting as much as I could, as many scents as I could, as many blends as I could to try out a bunch of different things. I was fortunate enough to get on the custom list, um, the one that's coming up now. So my thoughts were, you know, if um, I really want to get bulk of an item or I want to go like batshit crazy <laughs> with ordering, I'll do it next time and I'll be prepared that time. So um but like I said, everything was beautifully packed, um, bubble wrapped, the whole nine yards. I was very impressed. I mean, my goodness, guys, for as much that was in this box, I can't believe how nicely the, the bags still look and everything. So she had the um, invoice right on top, a little note on the side. Um, love that. She had a ton of extras. I mean... Uh, the Michael Jackson glove, as everybody likes to uh, call it. Um, I'm super excited, actually, to finally have gotten one of these. I know that sounds silly, but I want to see how um, it works with my face scrub or even my sugar scrub. So I'm excited to use that. I've never used one. Um, and then she threw these little gummy bears, which, guys, side note, side story. Okay, this video is going to be a little long, but beyond that. So if you don't have the time to watch it, it's probably going to be a good 40 minutes. So if you don't have that time to watch it, to set it aside, maybe do it later or watch half of it, you know, whatever. These gummy bears specifically, me and my hubby were watching or actually had found an article on YouTube about these gummy bears. And it was basically a link to Amazon and where they review the items that you have bought, you know, and I was reading the reviews for the sugar-free kind of these, and my goodness, guys, if you want a good laugh, y'all go on Amazon and type 
you know, these, these gummy bears, sorry, in and put the sugar-free kind and read it, read the reviews. You will, I almost peed myself. That's how funny it was. Like, I could not believe, I mean, the most off-the-wall stories, I guess, you know, a lot of people are having problems with these and digesting them and going to the bathroom and yeah, you get the drift. So go, if you want an extra laugh, go look. Okay. So she ended up putting two packs in that, and she was extremely generous in the samples, too. I mean, she didn't have to be this generous. Um, she included four. Um, and of the four, three are blends that I already had in my order, uh, which is fine. Um, I could always use more of the blends. Um, and actually, the three that she did include, that they're really good. They're, want, they're basically my favorites of the order, too. So I was excited to see that. So the first one is praline ice cream. And this is not one that I had ordered. Um, so I was excited to get this one. Uh, this is what her labels look like. Here's the um, date that they were, the month they were poured in. I love that she now puts that. And this is her label, of course. Um, she doesn't have a business card. I'm kind of shocked by that, but I mean, everybody knows who Glitterati is. Come on now. <laughs> so, um, and these are the perfect little sample size. I love these. These are easy to throw in any little warmer. And this is awesome, y'all. Um, you know, I'm not a big peanut, like, fan. Like, I shouldn't even say peanut, but, like, um, nutty person when it comes to, like, wax. Um, I don't like those type of uh, scent notes, but this is awesome. This smells great. This reminds me of butter pecan ice cream. Yeah, um, this would be really good, like blended with probably her sugar cookie scent or um, a graham cracker scent or, you know, somewhat, something along those lines. I'm not a big bakery gal, so um, maybe that's why too, but I, this is really good. I might actually blend this with some of my, uh, one of the, or one of the blends that I actually have. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know that one when I get to it uh, through all these. <laughs> Next is, and this is my, one of my blends, um, Blue Sugar Plum Delicious Blueberry Villanobi Noel. Um, and with this specific scent, y'all, um, I got a scent in a D-Stash. It wasn't Glitterati, and I won't name the vendor who it was from, but this is a vendor who... Um, I guess if you order from isn't very consistent in shipping and takes a very long time shipping and just has a lot of problems all around. I've never ordered from that vendor personally, but um, the blend itself was phenomenal. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. Um, a couple of the blends actually that I got from that vendor were phenomenal. And I have ever since then been trying to recreate that specific scent. So this is very similar. Um, the only difference was I think the plum um, and the other one was like a sugar plum. So, and um, I'm not a big fan of blue sugar on its own. So, um, what really got me into blue sugar, to be honest, is Brandy's blending from Super Tarts. Um, blended with like fruity aspects. It's, you know, I really like it when it's, um, because it's so different. Like, you're never going to go to a store and get a scent blended like that. Never, ever, ever. So, it's like one of a kind type scent. Um, and this, yeah, this smells awesome, y'all. Um, okay, for one, I definitely get the blue sugar. Um, I definitely smell that very strongly, but I'm also getting the plum. The plum, to me, is just deep and rich. Oh, and then the blueberry, it's it's brightening it up a little bit and adding that touch of sweetness it needs along with the vanilla bean Noel. Yeah, this is exactly kind of what the other one smelled like. I was nervous about the Plum Delicious because I, when I read the scent description for it, it wasn't just a plum scent, but to me it smells just like a plum scent, within this blend at least. So, um, Next is Blackberry Lavender Marshmallow. This is another one of my blends. Um, this is a blend I try to recreate after Spock with Super Tarts. Uh, anybody that knows me, watches these videos, knows I love, love, love lavender. Um, and Janine's lavender's off the chain, y'all. Um, the best way to describe her lavender is it's very soft and it's a very gentle lavender. It's not medicinal. It's not herbal. It might even be a Johnson & Johnson. Now, you know, I don't want to say it's even that because I don't get that chamomile note. So, I, I mean, her lavender is just a very nice, well-rounded lavender. Probably one of the better ones in the wax world that I've tried. So, um, yeah, this is awesome. The blackberry with the lavender, absolutely awesome. Um, the marshmallow tones it down. In this blend, I'm getting a little bit more of a herb note to the lavender, surprisingly. And maybe it's because the blackberry. It's funny that, because I've had Janine's uh, lavender on its own, thankfully, um, beforehand um, and before ordering. Uh, but 
it was never it never came across my nose as herbally so it, it's interesting when you're blending different scent notes that it can bring out different um you know making the scent more complex i guess so yeah that's a good one that's great that's gonna be super strong because it already is in there next is another one of my blends and this is fiji apple watermelon spritzer i was so excited to um order this one y'all because i love fiji apple if you haven't had fiji apple do it if you're not an apple fan still do it i'm not a big apple fan and fiji apple is probably one of the best scents um and in my top five of just single scents. Uh, Fiji apple to me smells like a, basically a regular apple and a pomegranate had a baby together, but a little bit sweeter. Yeah, seriously, it is the bomb diggity. So, um, and I had had a scent from Janine from a mystery box that was Fiji apple um, lavender something or other, and it was amazing. And that was the first time I had tried Fiji apple and I fell in love instantly. Um, another vendor that has Fiji Apple is Sassy Girl. Julie has it too. And I've had her version of the lavender uh, Fiji Apple mix and it's just as good. So um, yeah, this is freaking off the chain good. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, when there's just that scent that smells that good, there's no words for it. This is it. Like this is the epitome of like spring going into summer scent. This is the epitome of just amazingness. Like I don't even know how to describe. Okay, for one, I definitely get the Fiji apple. Um, it's a very juice, very very juicy, very rich, very dominant. Um, I get the watermelon underneath of that, and whatever that spritzer is, because you know for the longest time I, I thought the spritzer note that Janine has was a fizzy note, like a fizzy pop note, and. Smelling it in this, it doesn't, I don't get that lemmy limey smell that fizz, that fizzy pop note has. Um, I just get the fizz, not the smell with the fizz, but I know that don't make probably much sense to y'all, but yeah, this is, this is, I would want to drink. I would want this, like an alcoholic beverage, throw some, some yummy, yeah, yeah, that, oh my goodness, okay, sorry, I'm getting a little overwhelmed, okay, so I'm gonna just dive in, um, I don't know how many chunks I got. I want to say maybe 15 um, when I got like 15 cent shots. I try to break it up pretty evenly. Let me look at my invoice. Yeah, I guess I think I got like 16 cent shots and uh, maybe like 16 chunks. I ended up, it was an off number because um, she actually let me add on because she said that um, from here on out, like in this part of the year that people could order the uh, fall scents and stuff. So I wanted to add a couple of like the fall, um, you know, pumpkin type scents. So she allowed me to do that. And that was very awesome of her. That's what I'm saying. Her customer service was absolutely awesome. So, um, okay. First is honeydew pomegranate cotton candy frosting. This was one that I have had from another vendor. Um, actually I'll just tell you, it's from Southern Twang, um, called, excuse me, honky tonk. And, um, you know how hard it is to get anything from Southern Twang, unfortunately. So, um, I'm super pumped to try this one. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Her honeydew is so good. You know, there's some honeydews that are just really, they're all, okay. Like, um, for instance, super tarts honeydew is so amazing. Like it's just so, I mean, it's like the perfect honeydew for me personally. And then I've had un other honeydews that I absolutely hate. They're like overbearing and I don't know. It j they just don't smell like honeydew. I don't know. But this is awesome. I mean, her scents are so like realistic to what uh, like it would actually smell like. I'm very impressed by that. You know, like I said before, I haven't had a lot of glitterati in the past. You know, I've got a mystery box here and there and was, you know, probably lucky to get grab a D stash here and there that had a piece or two in it. But Look at this, you know, and again, uh, these are now $3 a piece of chunks for those who of you who don't know. Um, and this is what a chunk looks like. Easily, I get three melts out of that. Um, I'm, I'm super, like, super, super conservative with melting glitterati, though, because it's so hard to get. So I might even push, like, four or five melts out of this, to be honest with you. I let glitterati cure for a very, very long time. And when I say a very long time, I mean, like, months. I won't touch this box probably a minimum of two, three months. I mean minimum. And I know that sounds nuts to some of y'all, but her wax is softer. So it, I believe it, it probably has a higher soy content in it. So uh, to me, I think it needs that amount of cure time. And let me tell you something. 
I have had like for mist from her mystery boxes before and they're amazing, but I wait. I mean, that's so strong already. I could melt this and probably get a decent throw out of it, to be honest with you. But to w if I waited just slightly, you know, like two months, the throw is, is so much better and it lasts longer and I have to use less. So, um, I think I'm going to play around this time too with warmers. Um, I've always used my 24 watt hot war pot plate warmer with her wax. I want to go ahead and try maybe the glad and see how it works. Um, I actually ha tried a little piece of Glitterati in my warmer last night in my glad warmer in my bathroom and it didn't do too bad. But when I use my glad warmer, I turn it on for about 15 minutes before I even put the wax on and in the bowl. Um, so it gives it time to heat up and it's already heated up warm. I do that with all my warmers, but I seem to think that it helps with the throw a little bit versus then just turning it on, throwing the wax straight in. Um, my bathroom's relatively small too, so that's why I don't mind using the Glad in there. Okay, so next is Pink Sugar Grapefruit Vanilla Twist. So you can see, like, you know, it, it got a little from the heat. And, um, but I'm telling y'all, and this is for me pulling them out of the box because they weren't like this. So <laughs> that too. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness gracious. The grapefruit in this is so dominant. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I like that. That's not what I was hoping it to smell like. Um, it reminds me of the grapefruit that Super Tarts uses, and I don't like her grapefruit either. Um, wow. Woo, buddy. I don't really get much of the pink sugar or the vanilla. Um, this is pink sugar grapefruit vanilla twist. Now, I'm not sure what the vanilla twist is, but um, yeah. It's, it's, it's smack you in the face grapefruit and very, very, very little of the pink sugar as of right now. Um, and this was poured in March. So, um, I don't know. I don't know about that one, but the colors are beautiful. So this might, might be one that I pass along to, uh, somebody else to give it, they get the opportunity to try a uh, glitterati for themselves. I know there's so many people that have yet to try it. So, okay, next is, and I'm just going to grab these two. I got two of them. So I'm just going to set the other aside. Um, I got this one and fell in love. Absolutely. This is what made me fall in love with florals. This scent right here. This was the first floral scent that I had ever had and fell in love with. This is a uh, French vanilla violet. Um, and her violet is the best I've ever had. And I've tried other violets. I've tried a heck of a lot of violets. Trying to find one similar to Janine's. And I have never been able to do it. So hers is just so feminine. So soft. Like a lot of like her lavender. It's a soft. It's not like loud. And in your face and smack you in the face. But it's still there and present. And you can still smell it. And that's what I love about love, love, love. Like, violets, like, you have to be a floral lover, obviously, to love this. But a vi violet is a, a very dominant, very in-your-face scent regardless. It's not like a, a peony scent or, uh, like, a daisy scent. If you've ever smelled those two, those are lighter florals, in my opinion, versus violet. But the French vanilla does is just sweeten up the violet. Violet isn't very sweet on its own, so at least the ones I've tried... Yeah, and this is just amazing. I can't really tell you anything else about it other than that. I mean... <laughs> It's one of those you just have to try. Even if you're not a floral lover, try it anyway. Okay, next is praline graham crackers and brown sugar. And no, I'm not a bakery gal, but uh, this was a scent that I try to recreate um, from Vin and Chic. Vin and Chic is one of those vendors that I have a love-hate relationship with. Um, I used to love Vin and Chic. Um, I'm talking like in 2013-14 when she first opened and it was much easier to buy from her and um, her wax is much different, I feel, throw-wise for me today versus two years ago. And of course, I know companies grow over time, but it's a significant amount of change that in addition to um, how hard it is to get the wax, I just don't even bother. And I know some people are like, it's not hard, it's not hard. To yes, it is. To me, it is. Um, to me, I'm not going to sit on a computer and wait hours for a restock to only come out with two, three things that I wanted. Um, and I'm not discrediting Kirby. I'm not saying anything bad about her. That's her business and the way she runs her business, and I respect that. It's just not my preference. That's all. Um, so, But this is um, a scent that I try to mimic from her called Dracula. Um, I think it came out around the Halloween time. It was like a Halloween blend, so... 
Wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. Like that praline ice cream I got as a sample. Yeah, this is, I needed to add ice cream to this blend. It would have made it creamier. Uh, this reminds me a lot of mm, graham crackers. Mm, I get the graham crackers. I'm always nervous about the graham cracker scent, it being cinnamony, but I think that praline is where the spice is coming in. It's not like a smack you in the face spice, but it's definitely dominant and it's definitely there. So um, I'm not getting a lot of the brown sugar yet, but I'm sure it's there and I definitely smell the graham cracker. Um, Kirby's version is a little bit sweeter. I probably should have thrown some uh, marshmallow in this to dull it down a little bit and make it uh, more sweet. But I think over time to, of course the notes are gonna come out more um, and work much better. Next is strawberry margarita, lemon, watermelon, and um, this is one of the blends I've been on a kick lately. I don't even know. Oh, I got one of my custom order, a custom order from Kim Marie Ann's. Very awesome blender checker, vendor, check her out if you haven't. She's very underrated, and let me tell you, she is the bomb. I cannot wait till my name comes up on her uh, custom list again. Um, she included a freebie. The freebie was um, a scent similar to this, so I had to try to recreate it. Um, so, oh my goodness, amazing. I don't know if it's the margarita note in it that makes it just so good. It smells like, to me, just tropical heaven paradise. Fizzy, beautiful, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, you definitely get the, the margarita note. It's that limey, sweet smelling fizzy pop scent. Um, I get the watermelon working in there. The lemon is awesome. Um, I definitely get the strawberry. It's a realistic strawberry, not a sweet one. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, <laughs> I want to like drink that. That's like like something I would drink in the summertime. Um, it smells like a homemade lemonade to me, um, but much sweeter with different complex notes. So uh, next is uh, strawberry and cream orange lace Twinkies. Um, I'm trying to recreate a blend here that I got from Sassy Girl um, that's very, very similar to that. So I'm hoping that it's it's close to that. Wow. Um, I smell a lot of bakery in this, and that's odd. Um, I know that I put Twinkies in it. I don't know if it's that orange lace cake or what, but I smell heavy bakery. Um, not that I don't like it, but I was hoping it was more um, sweetened by the Twinkies than adding a bakery note. I, I the 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 um, I'm sorry the strawberry and cream and orange together work awesome just like I thought they would but I don't I don't know if it's that orange lace cake that has a heavy uh, bakery component to it or what but yeah if you've ever had like the strawberry and cream and orange lace or just orange would be awesome on its own y'all but that to me smells um, you definitely get the bakery note though it's like like a cake scent it smells like almost but not as sweet. Um, with the cream, the strawberry and cream and orange on top. So next is, oh, I think this is a extra. This has to be an extra because I didn't order two of these, I don't think. Wait a second, because I already told you guys about the honeydew pomegranate cotton candy frosting. Wait a second here. Uh, yeah, this must be an extra or something. Oh, no, I did get two of them. Okay, sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's an extra. Um... Yeah, I ordered two of that one, so let's put that aside. Okay, next is Orange Lace Pomegranate Mallow. Um, this scent, uh, I was trying to recreate a couple scents um, that's similar to this one. Um, one being Vintage Chic's uh, Fairy Godmother, I believe it's called. Um, uh, Super Tarts is uh, Orange is the New Black, I believe. Yeah, um, but I love the combination of orange and pomegranate and then some sweeted added note um, to it. I love that combination. Um, I've been on that kick for a while too. I've tried, I've probably, any custom order list that I've been on recently, this is probably the blend that I have gotten the most of. So, oh my goodness, this is heaven. That's what that other blend needed was marshmallow added to it. I think it dolled down the actual, um, bakery note because this is awesome y'all I mean I still get a bakery note but it's not in your face I think that orange lace cake has you know a heavy bakery component to it because I'm smelling that even you know with the pomegranate and marshmallow in it it's still you know in there in a very present note 
Oh my goodness. Oh, that smells very, very close to not um, Fairy Godmother, but the uh, the orange is new, the new black. That smells very close to that one. That smells awesome. That is one I will probably order more of and a lot of it. Okay, next is Pink Sugar Marshmallow Lavender. Um, and these chunks are beautiful. I don't want to take them out because the bags will smear, obviously. Y'all know that. So, um, I'm excited, very excited to sniff this one. Um, and it smells exactly like I thought it would, but better. <laughs> so, I'm so, so, oh my goodness. You know what, too, in this blend, um, I get more of the lavender than anything else. Her pink sugar is very different than anything I think I've smelled before from another vendor, pink sugar-wise. It's very different, um. I think it's got more of that perfumey note to it um, versus other ones I've smelled. And I know it's a perfume. I know. <laughs> but um, I feel like some of the pink sugars, you know, pink sugar to me doesn't smell like a perfume anyway. But um, some of the pink sugars don't, don't smell that way. And then some do have that, you know, like for instance, like some berry type scents like blackberry or bl they have like a, a floral note to them sometimes. And I know that sounds far far-fetched but a lot of people have um said the same that sometimes they have a floral note um i don't know maybe it's our noses being silly and, and tricking our brain i don't know <laughs> but this is awesome um yeah i definitely get the marshmallow it's lightening it up the pink sugar is definitely there but that lavender is definitely present um i i probably would add cotton candy to this because that's just like a sweeter lavender. Uh, nothing wrong with this lavender at all, but I would have liked it to touch sweeter. So um, next is blackberry jam butter cookie, cream butter lay, and vanilla buttercream. And I'm so excited for this one. Look how beautiful that is, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm <laughs> sniffling a bit. Maybe it's all these amazing scents. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Oh. oh, my goodness, y'all. This is so good. Oh, I am a huge fan of the blackberry jam butter cookie scent with like an added sweet bakery note. And this is freaking phenomenal. You definitely get the blackberry and it's so sweet in this. And then you just get sweet bakery. I mean, that's what I smell. Sweet bakery. Oh my goodness. That's all I can describe it as. Oh, that's amazing. And you know, like all my videos, I'll put my scent blends down below for y'all. So you have them if you want to uh, recreate them in your order. Uh, this is blackberry pomegranate mallow. And the, look at the coloring on that. I know that this camera probably ain't picking it up, but it is beautiful. Um, this is a scent I try to recreate from Vintage Chic Scents. I, see, I'm a big Vintage Chic fan if you haven't noticed yet, but it's so hard to get a hold of. I just don't bother anymore. But I, this is a scent um, very closely uh, related to the blob from Kirby. So, um, oh my gosh. And this one's better than Kirby's anyway. <laughs> oh, her blackberry is just really good, I think. You know, I smelled it with the blackberry lavender marshmallow. Her blackberry is very good. Very, very sweet uh, for a blackberry scent. I'm very impressed. Um. This is a, I smell the blackberry, but I'm not getting a lot of the pomegranate cutting through. Um, but what I do smell, it's amazing. Oh, it's so good. I mean, a lot of these I can't really give you a, 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 a ton of description for. It's like you have to smell them yourself kind of thing. Um, next is a lemon ver, ver, verbin. Oh my goodness, I can't say this right now, guys. <laughs> Lemon verbandina. That's not right, and I know I'm not saying it right, but I can't say it right now. Basil citrus herb here. I'll zoom in. So you know. I don't know why I can't say that right now. But um, basically, she had a scent at one time called Lemon Flower Basil or lemon basil flower something like that and I fell in love I had never smelled anything like it uh she discontinued it it wasn't a popular scent unfortunately um and so she told me to blend this one she gave me the idea to blend this one so to make it very similar to that so I'm excited to see how this will turn out I think it's close. It's really close. It is a very clean scent to me this is a scent that I would use if I'm like spring cleaning um I mean, obviously, if you've ever smelled um, the lemon vera bedina, why can't I say that? That is so annoying me, and I can say it any other time. I sound like a, a, a complete loony <laughs> trying to say this right now. But the lemon you-know-what in it, the lemon V, um, I'll just leave it like that. 
Um, you can smell that strongly in this. Um, and it's a Bath and Body Works dupe, if I'm not mistaken. And that basil citrus herb, um, it just adds a very, very, very clean note to it, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, it's one of those scents you just have to smell again. Um, it is very, very heavy on the basil citrus herb, though. So if you don't like that, it reminds me of a lemongrass scent more than anything. I think... Um, I'm going to probably add maybe a little marshmallow with this next time and see how it turns out. But I got two of those. Okay, next is pink uh, petticoat. I don't know what that's called. Um, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, lavender. And that pink whatever petticoat is one of her uh, house blends, I think. And it's a blend of like toasted uh, coconut cream, um, just really sweet things with coconut in it. So I figured that would work perfect with the uh, lavender. And it's got pink sugar in it too, so. Yeah, that's awesome. That's super awesome. That's probably better than the pink sugar lavender marshmallow. Yeah. Um, yeah, they smell very, very, very similar, but... I think I need to add a, a sweet component because her lavender isn't the sweetest. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do is add like a cotton candy the next time I order um, or something along those lines. Not that I don't like it. I love it. It's just a very delicate, soft, not as sweet lavender. Um, I'm not getting a lot of the coconut um, and I'm, I'm getting more of the pink sugar in this blend versus the pink sugar lavender marshmallow blend. So I'm happy that the pink sugar is cutting through that lavender more through that blend. Um, okay, next is pumpkin roll, toasted coconut, and uh, what did I put? Waffle vanilla cone probably, or what the heck is that? What, what, did, what did I put there? Let's see? W-V-S. Why am I blanking out? What did I put there? Let me look on my invoice real quick. Oh, warm vanilla sugar. Oh my goodness. So it's pumpkin roll, toasted coconut, warm vanilla sugar. Uh, this also is a blend I try to recreate from Kirby. Um, I forget what it's called. Maybe Haunted House on the Hill or something like that. It was a uh, Halloween scent. That That's a basically about the time period, Halloween last year where I really couldn't get anything from her anymore. I couldn't order. Um, and when I was ordering is very small orders and I'm paying all the shipping for small orders. And yeah, so I'm not, I'm not one person that will go in and make five orders and pay shipping five times. I will not do that. That's insane to me. Um, I just won't do it <laughs> personally. So, um, this is amazing. Ooh, the pumpkin roll. Oh my goodness. It smells like pumpkin pie. I mean, just straight up. And y'all know that if you've watched my videos before, you know my issue with pumpkin, pumpkin smells, and pumpkin pie is spice smells. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's definitely pumpkin spice all the way. Um, I'm not getting a lot other than that right now. I, the warm sugar vanilla I am smelling very, very lightly. But again, these were all just poured. So I think a lot of the notes are going to come out more presently as time goes on. Um, uh, real quick too, cause I'm almost out of recording time. Yeah. My phone doesn't have a lot of memory. So, but, um, real quick before I cut this off, I'm going to do these last three chunks and then do a new video to do all the scent shots. So it's going to be a two part video. Um, and I hate to do it that way, but it's probably easier for y'all to watch cause I'm almost at 42 minutes now. So it's probably easier for y'all to watch if I do it that way. Um, but yeah. Uh, Space-wise on my phone, I can only usually record about a half an hour or a little bit more than that. So, yeah, it's terrible. I But I don't have – my laptop took a crap on me, the, the actual uh, recording part, the webcam. And um, so I don't use that anymore. And my daughter has a tablet I thought to use, but it don't have a lot of memory either. So, okay. Next is Purple Rain. Um, I believe this is Chardonnay and Black Raspberry Vanilla Blend. And I should have got Chardonnay blends, but it scared me. Chardonnay scares me for some reason. That scent, and I don't know why, but... Uh, and it's amazing. Like, this scent is amazing. And I thought I ordered two of these, but I don't think I did. Uh, but I had the intent of ordering two of them. Let's put it that way. I think she only, yeah... Yeah, I'm looking at the invoice and only uh, charged me for one and only gave me one. But that's okay. But it's amazing. Like, I, I don't know. Chardonnay, I don't know what I get from that. Like, you smell the blackberry, raspberry, vanilla, but 
that Chardonnay is just a, 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 and it cuts through that raspberry so strongly. Like, I don't know what, I, like, I have never smelled anything like it, so I can't compare anything to it with that Chardonnay. Because it's not a citrus scent, but I, I don't know. I can't, I'm sorry, y'all. I can't describe that one to you. <laughs> so, forgive me for that. Um, the next one is Blonde Moment Raspberry Guava uh, Cotton Candy Frosting. This is a staple blend that I get from almost every vendor. I love it. Um, I'm excited to see how this one turned out. Wow. Um, that raspberry guava in that is extremely strong for some reason. Wow. I get the guava heavily. Wow. Um, Blonde Moment is uh, like a raspberry like blend um, on its own. And it's an amazing blend on its own. Um, so yeah it's like a raspberry cranberry something or other but yeah i definitely i mean raspberry guava works perfectly with the blah the blah moment because it's already like a berry type scent um but for some reason i'm really getting a lot of the guava in this one and i'm getting very yeah very heavily the guava um so not that i don't like it but i i, I hope that blah moment in time comes through a little bit more okay Last of the chunks is Blonde Moment Mango Tangerine Cotton Candy Frosting. Um, I was a little nervous to order this one too because of the mango. Mango can go south very quickly. I've smelled mango that smells like literally feet. <laughs> I swear on everything. Um, so, But I've also smelled mango before too that has smelled awesome. So we'll see how this one works out. But I've had a scent similar to this one and loved it. Um, I don't know, called Hello Sunshine or Citrus Sunshine or something along those lines. Southern Girl from Sassy Girl. Um, but it's basically this blend. Um, so. Oh my goodness, the mango in this is so strong in the tangerine. I don't even smell the blonde moment. Yeah, that's. I'm not a fan of this one. Oh my. I think it's the mango and tangerine. Like hers is a very, very, very realistic, true to what it smells like not sweet at all yeah um that'll probably be one i pass on to somebody and they can love it and i'm sure love it a lot <laughs> so that's it with the uh chunks so i'm probably gonna have to upload this video get it uploaded and then record the second video um so i can delete this video yeah i i know that's nuts right but i have these scent shots to go through so um i will try to do that soon um but duty calls as a mom anyway i gotta do start dinner and all that um i was lucky to uh, record this during uh the baby's nap time so um when she fell asleep i ran to my glitterati box because i hadn't even opened it or sniffed anything yet yeah i haven't sniffed any of these yet so um but i wanted to share with y'all first so i hope you enjoy and i'll put all the scents below and um check back on my channel um because i'll do the second part i don't know if it'll be you know the same day i'll upload it and record it but um, i'm gonna try um so all right y'all have a good one